Hey guys, I'm going to jump right into it with the colors. So first is indigo. Next is going to be permanent violet. Then my cloud mix. Then I'm going to go back in with the indigo. And then this is a phthalo blue. Some more of that cloud mix. There's the permanent violet. Oh, and I ended with that. This is an 11 by 14 inch canvas and I did speed this up because this paint was very thick. There was probably a three to four second trace in the cup. So tilting this 11 by 14 canvas definitely took some time and I had to slow it down a little bit so I could walk you guys through the colors. I'm only going to torch this piece once and it's literally right after I poured out the cup. Yeah, so why don't you guys just uh, hang in there and uh, watch me, you know, tilt this baby and I will be back at the end for the flyover. Again, thanks uh, for just hanging out with me today. And um, yeah, I hope you like this one. I'm super happy with it. <laughs> All right, be back soon. Hey guys, I'm back. So thanks so much for hanging in with me so far. I know this, even though this video is sped up, the tilting process on this one took a lot of time, but you know what? That was totally okay with me. It forced me to slow down and really look at the composition because this isn't a perfectly square canvas. You know, you kind of have to 
you know, really think about your composition. And at this point, I was pretty happy with the composition. You know, I wanted that curve, that just that slight like curve in the middle. That's that dark indigo, which is so beautiful, that indigo color. And then the permanent violet beside it was just really nice. So um, yeah, um, it's always at this point you're like, well, wait, do I want a little bit more of this off or a little bit more of that off? And it's like, step back, take a second. The paint's not going anywhere. Um, it's got that flow trawl in it. It's not going to set up on you. Not like a bloom where I feel like I have to rush a little bit, but I probably really don't. It's just me. But with this, I loved taking my time and I loved actually putting it on a, a little spinner. It raised it a little bit for me and um, that 11 by 14 canvas just fit there perfectly. So yeah, right now I was just moving the paint back into the center, but it is pretty much done. I'm really happy. <laughs> Put my little handprints down there, kind of like, I'm done. <laughs> so um, looking back at this piece, you know, I used a, a lot of white. I did my first layer of that cloud mix was quite heavy. Um, I thought, oh, that might, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. The paint's really thick. So I just wanted it to react a little bit. And you know what? It's not super, super like fluffy clouds, but I tell you what, the longer this set, the better the clouds got. Just a little softer and um, they'll start to just kind of develop. I'm curious how this is gonna dry, but here's the flyover. And um, I love this piece. I love the composition. I love the lines. I love those folded, thick, I don't know. I don't know if they're puffy enough to be called clouds, but they definitely have that thick, cloudy uh, appearance. But um, next time I might go a little thinner with my mixes and see if I can get some more uh, fluffiness. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to be doing more cloud pours. I'm on a kick again. So let me know what you think. If you love this, like, subscribe, share it, hit the bell. Um, here's some stills. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And happy holidays. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.